Hello boys and girls, welcome to another quick review, what's it like, whatever video. This time we got a brand new 2019 Jeep Rubicon. When I say brand new, I mean brand new. It's got 16, 1600 miles on it, on the clock. Check it out, 1658, so pretty brand new to me. So let's do a quick review. I did drive it already. I drove it to a car wash to get uh, quite a bit of ice on top, on the roof and on the hood off of it so I can work on it. And there is a lot of stuff I gotta do to it. But first impressions, it looks pretty nice inside. Now I'm not a you know big fan of Jeeps, I don't own one I, I never have I've I've driven a uh, few back in the day but never a, a new one like this and I gotta say it doesn't feel like a Jeep anymore but let's check out this interior here so everything is uh, automatic here you got your heated seats heated steering wheel which is very nice and it does get hot I had to shut this off after about 20 minutes or so it is 15 degrees outside you got power windows yeah no no power seats and you got your usual Jeep uh, four high four low and two high rear wheel drive whenever you do any changes over here it shows you on this screen which is um, you know modern I don't like this kind of stuff but uh, it is it is nice I gotta say it's got six gears so it is a manual which is nice we're gonna be looking at all this much more because look at all that stuff this thing is getting and there is more check those boxes out and there's another box already inside my garage so there's quite a bit let's see if I can remember there's gotta be like 15 20 boxes all around me but uh, we're gonna be and I'm, I'm and I'm gonna be doing install videos on every single thing. Uh, it, this this thing is getting some lights, a wench on the front, uh, bumpers, some some bumpers front and rear, uh, automatic running boards, a whole lift kit, including new shocks, and a Magnussen, I think that's how you say it, supercharger, along with uh, whatever it comes with. I. Th I think uh, it's the, it's got a brand new intake manifold, uh, new injectors, and the ECU is actually going to get sent out, reprogrammed, and sent back. And then we're going to do a proper tune to this thing. This thing will be off-roading. I'm sure I'm missing quite a bit, but let's see what it's like on the street. All right. Hopefully you can. I can see you. No, I can. Let's go. Seat belts, handbrake, reverse, push up. This is nice, by the way, this chunky gear lever. I like it. It's jeepish. So push this up and reverse towards you and forward next to first gear. The clutch is very light. It's unbelievably light. It's like the the weight of my leg can push it down almost. All right. Still backing up. Now we're not gonna go on the highway. We're not gonna go off-roading. And you're probably gonna hear the noises from the boxes moving around. Um, I wasn't about to take them out for this video because I would run out of room in my garage. All right. So this is a 3.6 V6. Gear changes are very light. Like I said before, this is doesn't doesn't feel like a Jeep at all. Third gear. Second fourth yeah very light easy very easy gear changes I bet you if the profile of the tires meaning uh, 
you know, the height of the tires, not the wheels, the tires were smaller than it would drive like your regular sedan. But because of those high tires, it, it still feels like a Jeep. It, it's kind of wobbly uh, over bumps and on turns, like a Jeep. So let's go out to this uh, main road here. Um, yeah, this is this is very easy, very easy driving. I gotta say that again. Now I don't want to redline it. It's still you know low miles. I don't know if this is on the first oil change or second. If it's on its first, then the engine is still breaking in. I'd say maybe another thousand miles or so maybe 500 miles do an oil change do an early oil change if you got a brand new car uh, not at 6,000 as the dealer says I would probably do the first one at 500 then another at 3,000 and then every 6,000 if you're using synthetic oil you know thank God it's got still knobs and this is not a touch screen because that would that would be oh no this is a wait a minute this is a touch screen never mind this is a touch screen this is too much this is not a jeep what am i driving are you seeing this i thought this was just a display but it is i can change stuff here too yeah, I bet you if you get used to this, these gear changes, you can see not even your passenger would not even feel you're changing gears. The engine seems powerful enough to pull its own weight, and it's actually pretty. It's not. It's not even that bumpy as in the old Jeeps over bumps. So it is much more comfortable than in the old days. You know, I'm comp this. I'm talking about Jeeps back in the uh, 90s maybe early 2000s not from year two or you know even five years ago how do i go back to the main screen hmm this is, this is interesting you got wi-fi traveling you can change the heated seats option on the screen as well or yeah you can do the same thing pretty much with the buttons over here. All right, I'm gonna take a quick look outside. Okay, did you see that? I just pulled up, I didn't shut it off. It shut off on its own. Well, it, it never shut off on me while, you know, uh, stopping at a red light or anything like that. Just now, as I was, as I pulled up and I pulled the handbrake. I don't know, maybe I got to get up to some certain speed, but uh, you saw that I pulled on the handbrake and it shut down. I guess uh, it's what Greta wants. All right, we're going to take a quick look on the outside, see what it looks like at its stock form before we mess it up all right so check it out it's also getting bigger wheels and tires so like i said this was a quick look at the 2019 Jeep Rubicon. Next video is gonna be, well, I'm gonna be installing something. I don't know what, there's a lot of stuff. So if you don't wanna miss any of that, make sure you uh, subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Look at all this stuff. Okay, starting here. This is the skid plate. Yeah, this is the skid plate. The, all this is part of the lift kit, springs, some kind of brackets. Check this out, these are shocks here, fully adjustable. These are nice, by the way. These are just seat covers. 
this is a harness for something these two both long boxes those are running boards they're going to be uh, automatic they're going to be going in and out on their own this big box is the rear bumper i'm guessing rear tail lights these big boxes are fenders there's two more inside the jeep and more lights and there's more coming too it's gonna be a lot of work i don't even know where to start uh, there's still the supercharger uh, coming the front bumper and I, honestly i don't even know it would be nice to to have everything out and uh, compare see but uh, i had to take my car out out of this garage and park it somewhere else just so i can have everything out anyways um oh yeah there's still the exhaust that's not here maybe maybe i should start with the lift kit what do you think all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you soon